So you're going to pay a few thousand rand to have your website developed. Congratulations. That's an awesome start. One question though, how would you know whether your website is subpar or not? You probably wouldn't. You'd probably find out a little later down the line that, you know, there are no meter tags in your site. There are no titles in your pages. Your site is not responsive. There's no fave icon and the list goes on and on and on. And you realize that, you know what, you were sold a bag of baloney. Bottom line, the beginner's guide to web sites is basically just that to help give you a rudimentary understanding of what to expect from web-based technology um, just the basics so that you are empowered to at least know what to ask for when you have your first website constructed you can guide the process alongside the designer or a developer. And I think they'd be appreciative that you actually have a basic understanding to what you want. And they know then that because you have a basic understanding that, you know, there's a good chance that they are going to make sure that what they deliver you, deliver to you is of industry standards. And this matters because the last thing you want to do is spend a couple of thousand with something that doesn't work for you and yeah have it redone and have a similar process later on so educate yourself the series is put together just to give you a very basic rudimentary education and increase your knowledge base going into the side of business relating to websites it's going to be with you throughout your time in business so it would give you a good idea to you know what stay abreast of the technology learn to to understand the basic fundamentals and it cannot do anything but help so good luck with your first website and i hope the series of videos help you with your business journey